This is the start of the frame for the back of the coop. Take two 30.5 inch pieces and three 33 inch pieces and using three inch screws go ahead and attach them. Take the 35 inch screen, place it on this smaller 12 inch opening and attach. Flip this side over so that the screen is against the table and then place one of the triangular side pieces on and attach. The front panel has two 30.5 inch pieces, two 33 inch pieces, two 27 and a half inch or whatever it is uh, channels that have the dado in them, and then these two 10.25 inch pieces. Build the outer frame of the front panel first, and then using the 10.25 inch pieces, you can use those as basically templates to show where to drill in the dadoed pieces. Be sure to slide the door into the door jam before you secure the other two ends and then taking that 10.525 inch piece put it at a distance of 18 inches and screw only on one side. You don't need to mess with screwing it on the door side. Flip the side over so that the door is face down and staple the two 12 inch screens. Place the quarter round in the door threshold. It's important that you leave enough room for the door to close and the way I do that is by pushing up on the door from below and then nailing it. If you purchase trim, go ahead and put that on now, center this piece over the door jamb, and take the 30 inch piece and put it 2.5 inches away from, down, from this corner, all the way across. Create the side panel by grabbing the 18 by 43 inch plywood and two 40 inch 2 by 2s and mount them on the edges, leaving a one and a half inch space on either side. Assemble the clean out frame with two 12 inch pieces and two 36.75 inch pieces. You should make two of these. Once you've installed the screen on that clean out frame, go ahead and put it on top of the side that you made uh, with the the screen up and the side up. When you put it on, you want to make sure that, that this upper piece is just the easiest bit inside of this one. And then go ahead and install the two hinges. With a 42 and a half inch piece and a 43 inch piece, you're going to create the upper truss of the roof panel. Take the 42 and a half inch piece and nestle it with the quarter inch on either side, overhang, and install the two hinges. Take the 48 inch piece of two by two, place it underneath two metal panels, having the hem side down, just that, and balance it out so that there is a little bit of the white showing on both sides and a little bit of white showing along the edges. That prevents people from getting poked by this sharp edge. I find it easiest to put my first screw in the middle of the roof and then put one at either end and then fill in every two or three ridges. Taking that 48 inch piece that you just screwed the two roof panels to Grab the 43 and 42 and a half inch pieces with the hinge, slide the 42 and a half inch piece underneath the roof with a two and a half inch overhang here. So the 43 inch one is going to be loose and actually have the hinge part that opens. Start the same way by putting a screw in the middle and then move outwards from there. I'm standing in front of the coop and I want to be able to access 
my eggs from the left side. That's the side that I'm going to see from the house. So if you have windows, put the side with the windows on the side that you plan to access the eggs. This one's on the left. Install the sentinel support utilizing one and a quarter inch screws and the tool holes in the front and the back. Make sure that the sentinel post with the hole is the one that goes in the front. Find the two rods that are L-shaped. They have a hole in one end. Screw it in, but not all the way, so that this L piece can rotate. And then take the second one and a quarter inch screw and put it part way in so that your L-shaped rod can rest on it. Since we're accessing the eggs from the left side, we're going to put the roosting pole on the right side of the coop. Find the pilot hole, as shown here, on both the front and the back. Locate the two 35.5 inch pieces and the 7 inch piece and drill the 7 inch piece in between at 13 inches to make the H pole. Place the H pole inside the coop with the smaller of the sides pointing towards, in this case, the left side where we're going to access the hens. Notice we also have our roosting pole Again, opposite from the side that we're going to access the eggs from. The waterer rests on the H pole next to the nesting box. Take the roof panel, slide it onto the coop so that it is flush with the sentinel post as well as flat with this. Using the pilot hole, screw both sides in. Before you put the narrow roof screen on, put a, about a 45 degree bend in it right down the middle. Using a washer and a big headed screw, attach the screen to the two by twos. Take the sentinel, place it on top of the sentinel post and make sure that when you put it on that this edge is aligned with the roof edges. Put the two screws in, and once you've got that done, go ahead and lean on both sides of it to get a nice angle on the roof sentinel. Use the touch-up paint to paint that seam the same color as your house. 